Get your eligible Google Pixel ready. Android 14 is now here. And so aptly, here are 14 features you desperately need to know about in Android's 14th OS build. Google is following Samsung's lead by finally adding an option to auto-confirm your PIN when the correct combination has been entered on your device. But in typical Google fashion, it doesn't work unless you use a PIN or passcode that is six digits or longer. This even works right after powering on your device or restarting your phone, something that not many OEMs out there actually have done previously. Just head to settings, security and privacy, device unlock, screen unlock, enter at least a six digit code as I mentioned, and then toggle auto confirm correct pin, and this should be working for you. So bigger screens are simply made to multitask on and the Pixel tablet is absolutely no exception. While this isn't a new feature per se, Google has actually tweaked the split screen option to better indicate the layout of each in-view application when long pressing to initiate this mode from your home screen. This even works when you're using your tablet in portrait or a landscape orientation, so it's a nice use case specific change to help you better understand where apps will launch when going into split screen mode. It's not huge, but it is a nice option, especially works really, really well with those first year party applications here too, with a more visible option for you to enter split screen. We're also getting more customization options in Android 14 with the neat ability to change the lock screen clock to one of eight preset styles. It's technically 16, but this is only because you're able to force that smaller upper left clock if you do prefer that style. By default, these are based upon dynamic color settings, but you can choose from a limited pool of palette options if you do prefer those. It's not perfect, but it's a starting point for what we're expecting to be even more tuning options as Google presses on with Material U for years and years to come. And it's definitely a lot more striking than some of the options that litter Android as is. So after a few years of fairly boring Android Easter eggs, all is forgotten here with Android 14 as it has a new mini game that we can play. To access this, you need to go to About Phone, find the Android 14 option for the software build, hold or tap this multiple times until you see the Android 14 logo. Then from here, you'll need to long press and hold the logo itself, and this will eventually take off like a spacecraft. And that alone is pretty cool in our book. But in keeping with the space theming, this will launch into a new Lunar Mini game that is way harder than it actually looks. It's good to see these games make a comeback though and highly recommended for you to try out for yourself. Predictive back gestures are a strange new addition here in Android 14 and they're hidden behind a toggle in developer options and I think you should definitely enable this for your phone. So long as the app itself has been updated, when you now use the back gesture with gesture navigations, you'll see a preview of where you'll end up within the actual system. And this is just a super nice animation as it's smooth slick and it gives you that idea of where you're going to end up if you do press the back button. Another little and otherwise inconsequential change in Android 14 is a brand new animation when plugging in your charger to your Pixel phone. You might not even notice this right away if you even tried the beta program prior to this. So when putting your device on a wireless pad or even plugging in, the battery indicator now turns into a small pill icon for a split second with a lick of dynamic color for good measure. It minimizes and disappears almost as quickly as it appears, so you're forgiven if you ever noticed it, but it's all part of that bigger cohesion that Google's going for with each update that they push to their Pixel phones. As I mentioned earlier, you can now skip the pin entry confirmation and lock screen. That's lovely, but you might have spotted that this screen is actually also a little different with an extra tweak. So when each key press is registered or detected, it's obscured. This previously was just dots and circles in those previous Android versions, Android 13 and lower. Now though in Android 14, these dots are replaced by little material U icons. And it's again, one of those cohesive little changes that ties things together. Together. And visually, it definitely is a striking new change when you're in the pin entry screen. Flash notifications are a long overdue accessibility feature here in the Pixel version of Android that helps indicate when you have a new notification to open on your phone. But like most accessibility functions, there is added utility for just about everybody out there. In basic terms, you can now set a color to flash on your display when an app notification has been received. There are actually 12 colors for you to choose from, so there is some level of customization to tweak and tune if you wish. If you do prefer fewer distractions though, you can also set your camera flash to pulse instead as part of the flash notification settings. You can also finally make the gesture navbar region of your device 
clear or transparent here in Android 14. Annoyingly though, this isn't an ideal solution as yes, it's hidden within the developer options section. Ordinarily though, if an app already hasn't had added this function itself, this section will go black or white, which is quite distracting. Toggling this feature will try and force this area to be clear and expand the main app view outwards so it's not as prominent. And another small tweak you might not notice immediately is new navigation guides when using a gesture-based navigation option. A small circle now envelops the arrow back gestures that appear when you swipe from the left or right side of your screen to go back in the UI. The color of the guide circle will also match the colors pulled from your system theme, but overall it's another nice touch that Google is adding to help bring home and actually force down that material you theming that has been a big part since Android 12. So Google really loves constantly iterating on this system media player and this year is no different. When you're actually using the media player, there is a wave glow animation effect when you use player controls. And that was in a previous beta version last year, but is now in the stable Android build with a refined lock screen reveal animation also thrown in here for good measure. I've been banging on about dynamic color theming throughout this video. It is great if you like lots of bright playful colors as part of your actual setup but thankfully a simple monochrome option has now been added to the wallpaper and style app if you don't like bright colors on your phone and this isn't a special edition by any stretch of the imagination but as i mentioned if you don't like bold colors you now have an option to keep things simple this just tunes according to your dark theme light theme and will keep things a little less in your face with regard to toggles and other system UI sections. Those super useful lock screen quick toggles can now be customized or disabled entirely in Android 14 if you find these annoying or want to put your own spin on these. Unlike though in one UI on Samsung phones, these shortcuts are actually limited to just eight and include the default camera, do not disturb mode, the Google home controls if you have smart home tech, a quick mute switch, there's a QR code scanner, the flashlight or torch option and video camera mode plus the Google Wallet application. But what is new on top of this is if you try and tap these shortcuts or accidentally do so, they'll actually wiggle and your phone will have some haptic feedback to indicate that you need to long press to unlock or access these functions fully. So copying text could be a little bit easier when you're now sharing between applications in Android 14 because you are now able to select that text, long press and then drag to another application text entry window and instantly paste that across there without having to access extra menus. I will say it's not the easiest gesture to use on a phone screen, but it might be useful when you're using split screen modes or indeed using larger screen devices like the Pixel Fold or even the Pixel Tablet. So those are 14 functions and features that you need to know about here in Android 14, the latest release for Pixel phones. It will come to more devices over time with specific flavors for those specific OEMs. I will say this is by no means the biggest update to the OS by any stretch of the imagination. Think of it as more consolidation as material you and dynamic color evolves and develops into a truly unique taste of what Google thinks we should all experience on their flagship Pixel phones. You can find any of and all download links that you'll need for your devices and any information down in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Cheers for watching though, and I will catch you in the next one.